everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Ellie and this is night news blog and today we have a book haul so um a couple of weeks maybe almost a month ago I had seen a post and like you know when the whole like we started we started supporting black businesses okay like that I mean I've always been about that life but like it's nice to see that everybody else is about that life thank god and um as someone who likes to read a lot of books a lot of times I go to Indigo Chapters to buy my books. There's not a lot of black owned bookstores around. So knowing that there's one locally by me, well it's not a brick and mortar, but an online bookstore where you can order books, a lot of black authors especially, um, it's really cool. Um, one of the books that I should be doing a review on soon, I actually got from the bookstore when they did a pop up locally. And then recently I was like, you know what, I want a lot of new books. A lot of things that I've genres that I'm not usually reading so um, some fantasy and things and also a lot of Canadian like I've been getting a lot of especially black Canadian authors which is really dope and I'm super happy about so I ordered my books from Notability they are a black owned bookstore in Toronto but especially in the east end of Durham and the girl who runs it she's phenomenal they answer all your questions um, it's pretty I think it took maybe like less than a week for uh, my order to get through to make sure that she had all the books that I ordered. I think I ordered about four, six or four. I can't remember. I haven't opened the package since I got it. I did a local pickup which was super dope. I was able to just go meet her up somewhere and pick it up. So if you don't want to pay shipping, especially Canadians, I, our shipping is not like America, okay? We got expensive shipping. Um, you can just go and um, pick it up from her. Like it was super dope, super easy. So this is my package. Has my name on it with the order number. Um, it's pretty big. I think there's about four or six books in here, so I actually don't really remember which books I picked. Um, I think three of them, or at least two of them, are Canadian authors, and the rest are um, international authors, so I'm excited to see which ones I picked, because I honestly forgot. So let's open this bad boy. I probably should have gotten scissors. Oh no. Okay. Ripped right open. So let's get started. Oh, this is so cute! She no, so let's see what I got in here. I like the packaging, A1, like stickers everywhere with branding. I love I love good packaging. Like even clothes, Amazon, doesn't matter what it is, I love good packaging. Good packaging is amazing. And I think there's even a note in here, if I'm not mistaken. This is really hard to open. So it just says notability. There we go. This is um, the business. You can find them on Instagram or Facebook. My receipt. And I ordered oh eight books, and it came up to a um, hundred and something dollars. I'm not gonna say because I splurged, but you know what? We splurge on black businesses. Why? Because we support local and black businesses. So the first one I know is a Canadian author and I've actually followed her on in Twitter and I think on Instagram, but I definitely follow her on Twitter, Amanda Paris. I've seen her talk about her book, I've seen it circulate throughout like my socials and everything, so getting this book was really important for me. Um, so when I'm supporting a local author who I, I don't say, I don't necessarily interact with her on social media, but I do follow her and I see her and um, this is dope, the other side of the game. I've heard good things about the book, so I'm def can't wait to start reading it. It looks like a pretty easy read. It's not too thick, so hopefully I get through it. I've been procrastinating on my reading. I can't lie. I have a book that I'm reading, which is good. I'll have to talk about that book later. But yeah, hopefully I get through this as sooner than later because I would love to read this soon. Um, I have Unburnable by Marie Elena John. Um, I'm not sure why I picked this one. But I think, oh, this one is by, she's a Caribbean author. So um, she's from Antigua. So Marie Elena John is from Antigua. So we love supporting black and Caribbean authors because why? I'm Caribbean descended. So <laughs> this is dope. I think that's one of the reasons why I actually picked up this book. Um, you don't really get to hear a lot of stories from people from the Caribbean. And honestly, Caribbean folklore, I think, is something that people from the Caribbean need to hone on on. And if they don't... If you're sleeping on it, you're sleeping on it. But, like, take advantage. Like, there's so many different stories. Um, especially linked to our lineage. 
and I like our African descendancy that I why not tell stories about it from our perspective in our language because there are multiple languages in the Caribbean so why not like this is dope so this is the next book next we have another local Toronto um, author Trey Anthony so this is how black mother says I love you so Trey Anthony I would consider her almost a pioneer in Canadian literature um, arts because if you don't know who Trey Anthony is she had a uh, she had a play and a show on CBC called the kink in my hair and growing up I believe that was probably the only representation I've ever seen on Canadian television of Caribbean black Caribbeans living life in Toronto like everyday life in Toronto which is very relatable because you never saw that ever before um, I, I saw the play um, when I was younger I think I was a little too young to see the play but it touched me like I think I cried because um, it was really relatable but you can see in the audience the audience was filled of um, black Canadians from the Caribbean descendant majority and it was such a great play so to hear, I believe this book is also a play, um, How Black Mothers Say I Love You. I've heard this book, it's been circulating for a long time, so I'm happy I finally got hold of it. Like, I'm super excited for this one. Um, my next book is In West Mills. Um, I don't know this author. I, so, Deshane Charles Wilson. The Charles Wilson part actually sounds very familiar. But um, this one, I don't know why I picked this book. But it looked interesting, probably. I don't know why, honestly, I don't know why I picked this book. But hopefully, um, I find out once I start reading it. I love the co cover. Um, it looks like an interesting book. I also think I picked it because it might have been on sale. I'm a little frugal. But um, this, is, this is a dope book. Like, I can't wait to... If you guys have read this, let me know in the comments below. Tell me how you like this book and what you think about it. Like, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Our next book is Under the Zuckabo... Zuckabo... Z Zaboka? Under the Zuck Zaboka Tree, I believe. I Hopefully I said it right. This is it. Um, this one, I believe, is by another Caribbean author. And I think that's why I picked it up. Um, it's from, the Tr from Trinidad. So the, the place this book... Um, the pics is in Trinidad and Tobago and I believe from what I remember reading about it It's about a young girl who was living in North America and then she went back to live in Trinidad with her family and then it's her experience of being um, tr Someone who grew up in North America and moved to Trinidad and how like I think how life how she's learned from life and how things are different and adjusting and things like that So this should be interesting. Hopefully it's in um, there's a lot of like Trinidadian Pata or Creole um, in it and it's it, I can understand it. I'm not sure that in myself, but most words are very similar, but you know, there's a little off ones here and there. So this should be really interesting. Again, Caribbean authors, this is crazy. I will continue to support Caribbean authors and Caribbean literature because it is a big thing and a lot of people don't know that. Um, and I think Caribbean literature needs to be more embraced. Our languages are unique. The way we storytell is unique. It needs to be embraced a lot more. Um, in my house household, Reading was really fundamental. Um, I never really read a lot of Caribbean literature, but I'm happy now that the older I get, I can embrace it. So let's look at the next. I think we have four more books. These things are stuffed in here. Like, she got some good man. I really don't know how she got these in here, man. These are, these are good. Like, she stuffed them into that bag, in that plastic bag. So this is the next package of books, and we have three more books in here. I love the packaging. Like, they're just wrapped so neatly. We have is the darkest child um this one is by Dolores Phillips I believe this is an American author yeah it's pre it's predict predicted not predicted it's staged in Georgia so it's an American author and I find it interesting like I think it just talks about colorism which uh, is a topic 
I wouldn't necessarily say that the black community likes to push under the rug, but it's a topic that needs to be discussed because it affects a lot of black people within their own community and also other communities too, like people of color in general. So um, I think this would be a really interesting book. Um, it's a little different than what I usually read, but it seems cool. Um, let me know if anybody has read it and what you've thought about it, The Darkest Child. Um, yeah, so I'm super... I'm excited to get into this one too because all these books are a little different which I really appreciate because I'm trying to brighten my horizon and you know step out of my comfort zone and try something new. <laughs> so next we have is two fantasy um, books I think. I think the second one is fantasy. Um, I don't really read that much fantasy to be honest. I'm not a fantasy reader um, but it is something I would like to indulge in. I have heard people talk good things of other books. Um, not necessarily the ones that I'm reading right now but um why not like if black panther can exist um superheroes and stuff like that why not black fantasy books like we have our own side to tell who knows what w happens in our own worlds right so the first one is fate of flames and it's book number one so if i really like it i will definitely get book number two and let you guys know what i think about it this one is by sarah um raleigh and it is Phantom's massive beast of nightmare begin terrorizing the world. At the same time, four girls um, appear, each with their unique power to control el classic classical elements. So that is dope. Like, what? I don't think I have ever seen, heard, or read a book about two black girls who have magical powers who practically like save the world. Because you know black women stay saving everybody. Um, so yeah, this is actually no, I read it. It's super dope. Like, what? There's three books in the series. So, this is book number one. Um, hopefully, it's super dope. Um, and I will finish the whole entire series because I'm actually a series type of person. There's a couple books where I have, like, the whole entire series. I'm that person who makes sure to read all of them. So, yeah. Let me know. Has anybody read this? Um, Fate of Flames. Let me know what you think. Um, don't tell me how it ends. But let me know how you like it. If you don't like it, why? Why not? And even if you have a blog post on it, drop your link below. I will check it out. Definitely check it out. And our last book, but not least, is She Would Be King. This one is by, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, Wayuto, Wayuto Moore. Sorry if I mispronounced it. Um, if anybody can put like the phonetic version of it in the comments, I really appreciate it. I'll even um, Google it myself. So next time when I do a review on this or something, I'll pronounce it properly. But she would be king. I believe it's about a girl who goes back home and um, takes over kingship of her community from her father, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, I think that's the premise of the whole book. But um, I will definitely read it. It's different. She's a king. Usually you don't you hear about boys turning to kings or going back home to turn chiefs and kings of their um, communities of their parents or where they grew up. So I'm definitely interested in seeing how these books. A lot of these books are um, woman characters, which are cool. Um, I find that I would like to sometimes read male perspectives on some stories, which I'm starting to get. Um, I'm currently reading Brothers and... Um, that one is from a male perspective, so I, I'm not, like, yeah, majority of these are from women perspectives, but you know what, next time when I order from them, I will definitely look into more male perspective books, because, you know, we like to have um, options. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Notability Bookstore is where I got all these books. They come, like, look, packaging is amazing, delivery, like, customer service is amazing, within, like, turnaround time was, like, a week, and I did local pickup. Um, she made sure that I had all my books, so I would definitely recommend you guys to go check them out. If you're in the Toronto area or the GT Toronto GTA area, you can order online. Um, they also do a lot of pop-ups now because of the C word. We are still in lockdown in Toronto currently, and it's what, July 17th. We're not in lockdown, but like, you know... Right now, the GTA is still in stage two. We haven't gotten to stage three, so there's no local gatherings and much more than 10 people. So um, if you can support local businesses, do it by online shopping. That is the number one go-to. We are in 2020 anyways. You should be online shopping, okay? But um, I hope you guys enjoyed my little book haul. I will definitely let you know what I think about these books later. I will try to write my reviews out and also put out videos. 
um, and get back to you guys. So let me know. A lot of these authors are Canadian, Caribbean, or um, American, or sometimes I think African. They're all black, okay? They're all black. Um, but make sure to check out their, their stories, make sure to check out their books, their novels. Let me know what you think about some of the books you've read if you haven't, um, and stuff like that. So let me know, make sure to follow, um, like and subscribe this video. Um, I will be coming up with a lot more book videos hopefully. You know, booktube, <laughs> I'm coming for ya. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, um, and make sure to follow us at nightviews underscore blog, everything will be somewhere around here or here. Um, check out the website, nightviews.com, um, and stay tuned, and keep me updated on your life. Like, we're a club here. Like, you know, we're family, we're friends, we share, we help each other to grow and stuff. So, see you guys next time. Thanks.